Hey guys, coming to you live from Thor Broadcast. Today we're going to be showing off our new 4K UHD Ultra High Def Encoder Modulator that encodes an H.265. Uh, the front of the unit is your basic Thor uh, front fascia with an LCD display for easy to read data bit rate and modulation settings. The unit also has uh, easy to use D-pad buttons so you can scroll through and set up your unit on the fly. On the far right of the unit you have an NMS and an IP input for your data and management control. On the back of the unit, you have easy to use HDMI inputs and outputs. There is an, even an HDMI loop out and a hot backup for your input. It also features your RF output for your QAM modulation system and ASI inputs and outputs for your uh, contribution encoding. Now I'm going to show you the GUI of the new 4K UHD QAM IP encoder from Thor Broadcast. So once you log in through your IP address, this is a standard IP for anybody who's getting a new one out of the box. Um, you're going to put in your logman information and your password, and this is going to be your splash screen showing you the build, uh, the hardware, and the parameters. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to check out is the encoder uh, section. This is where it's going to automatically ingest your HDMI feed. If it doesn't, you can just go ahead and click on this. Uh, HDCP options here are applicable for 1.4 and 2.2. Uh, down here, I want to show you some of the video options because this encoder has the uh, higher end 422 resolution uh, chroma and as well as the 1920 by 1080 and 3840 by 2160. Uh, down lower here, you can see that we can feature MPEG 1 layer 2 audio and AAC. In case you guys have AC3, go ahead and click the AC3 pass through button. In the TS config, you're going to be able to go ahead and ingest any ASI program streams to multiplex through the output. In the modulator section, you're going to go ahead and pick your channel, which you want to view on your television. And here you can just easily select your standard and your frequency from 50 to 960. And finally, the IP stream output will let you address in UDP and RTP, uh, SPTS and MPTS, uh, and allow you to enable IP output to any device you want, like a VLC player. All right, guys, if you have any other questions or would like more information, contact Thor Broadcast uh, at your earliest convenience.